like this. We've got ahead. We arrived at the perfect time as they've arrived at the Daika carcass. It's quite a small carcass, as I said. I don't think it's going to be here for too long. But if Karula doesn't hoist it shortly, we're going to have to leave anyway. been quite a long walk and I'll, you can see how close Hasana and Karula are lying to us. We can't really move into any other position at the moment. Shungili is more playing with the carcass than feeding on it. Look at that, going for the, look at that. See, it's instinctive. She doesn't have to be taught to go for the throat. <laughs> it's a big fluffy toy. Look at that, going for the throat again. Those instincts, those inbred instincts she's born with taking over. <laughs> He's just having the best time. Yum, 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 yum. It almost looks like, oh, maybe I should take it up the tree, but I think she's still a bit small. So, Jilly in New York is wondering why she didn't hoist the kill before she went to fetch the cars. <laughs> well, Jilly, I'll get to that now. Let's just watch this incredible behavior. Jilly, uh, she probably didn't want to waste the energy, so I think she was quite confident that because of the time of the day that it happened, there was very little chance of her losing it to hyenas or other predators, so that's probably why she didn't hoist it. I think she will hoist it as it gets darker, but well, I wish I could tell. We never really know what happens in a leopard's mind. Now all this playing we're seeing now is, is it's just incredible instinct taking over. Now people don't realize that even we are instinctive beings. And that instinct to go home when it gets dark it's from when we lived on the savannah and lions and other things were coming out. Oh, it's a young, it's a baby boy. You can just see his little horns sticking out now. Oh, look who's coming in. Now, is he going to go try to serp his sister at the carcass? A 
amazing to watch. Now, Shamsung is wondering, are the cubs big enough to hoist a kill on their own? Not yet, would be my answer to you, Shamsung. It's just amazing to sit here and enjoy this. Now the sun is dipping below. Oh, <laughs> almost like I had a tail caught her. Oh, that little hiss was for her brother. He looked like he was going to make an attempt to get a bit closer to that diker. <laughs> Quarry bush getting in the way. I hope you guys are getting some fantastic screenshots. Now you probably find at this age they've already made their own kill with it, but it's probably a squirrel Oh, look at that. Or a dwarf mongoose. Maybe a little monitor lizard. Messing at her brother again. see those claws coming in and out. She's having the best time. And as I said, they didn't look that hungry. And you can see that. I mean, she's by no means starving. She'd prefer to play with the carcass than eat it. Leopards are much quieter than lion cubs. I mean, even sitting as close as we are, we're not really hearing anything apart from when she rustles a bush. <laughs> Having the best time. <laughs> Let's really hope Karula does hoist this so it's going to be here in the morning. Now, Erlene's wondering can Shingile open up this carcass or will Karula have to? At this age, I think she's capable already of opening it up. As I said, they're not that hungry. And she seems far more interested in playing than feeding. And she does have a bit of hair stuck in her mouth.
Uh, these, as I said, these leopard cubs are just over seven months old now. She's closing in on eight. And with every month that passes, their chance of survival becomes higher and higher. So once they reach, reach a year old, that sort of... <laughs> that uh, very high mortality rate drops off into less than 10%. Four months to go, more or less. This is not a very big male, it's a young male diker. And it'll be finished quite quickly. So as she keeps looking at the tree about thinking about hoisting that carcass. But I don't think she's quite strong enough yet. Look at her go. Oh, she is just too gorgeous. She is a beautiful female. Now, we're not going to stay here too much longer. The tree's not in the kill and the light's fading fast. been quite the spectacular afternoon. Welcome back, Brian. Oh, thank you. <laughs> nice way to come back. Yeah. Well, the killer bees have both had spectacular welcomes back on their first drives back. Brian with Karula and the cubs, who I haven't seen in an age as well. And of course, we were lucky enough to have a lion kill. Well, I was lucky enough to have a lion kill on my welcome back. Seems like Juma likes us, Brian. Yeah. Now, Hosanna is literally lying. <laughs> Shongi, what nonsense are you up to? Not supposed to play with your food. Every time she looks at her brother and gives a little hiss. Now, her brother is literally right here. Where is he? There he is. You can see how close he is to me. And there's the side of the car. And he's chosen to come lie that close to us. We haven't forced our way to be that close to him. Oof, big snarlet, brother. He didn't even move. See all the flies buzzing around here. Or more, more, more aptly around the carcass. So you can see the camera is starting to get a little bit grainy. It is getting quite dark. So with the kill on the ground, I'm not going to stay here any longer. So we we'll have one last look at the gorgeous. Shongile, and we're going to say goodbye to them for now, but we'll be back tomorrow morning. And let's go back across to Jamie, who's within Kahuma Zoo, hopefully, are going to be on the move soon. <laughs>